Good morning, Biscuits. Are you going to spend two day tidying, cleaning up the house for the week ahead? Something I always like to do. Sunday happens to be a trash day for me, for when I get all the trash in the trash can for Monday morning. So I throw lots of stuff away. I like to do all my deep cleans and my sweepings. Um, I've been doing a lot more sweeping over vacuuming lately because I'm really trying to find any little weird chunks that are choking hazards or anything. Um, I'm amazed how quickly my floor gets dirty. Uh, I have found that this type of laminate floor seems to um, hold on to dirt and attract dirt more, I will say, than some of the kind of more flat, um, high polish uh, laminate flooring that you can get. This kind of flooring has a little bit of texture to it, so it feels more like real wood, which is beautiful and lovely underfoot. But definitely does mean you need to spend a little bit more time sweeping, um, using your dust broom, and even just getting on your hands and knees and scrubbing little spots because it can actually be really important to do that. So it just depends on what type of flooring you're dealing with. Um, I used to have steam mops and things that some people say you can use on laminate. I am too worried to use a steam mop on laminate. But... If you have floors that take that, I highly recommend doing one of those instead of getting on your hands and knees to scrub and mop, which is what I've currently been doing because for some reason this winter, everything's just sticking to the floor. I don't know what's going on. I just find so much stuff that I have to like detail scrub off of the floor. No idea why. I don't know if it's because it's been so wet and muddy of late. That might be, uh, but definitely, you know, that's kind of one of my things with homemaking is you just have to... Your homemaking changes with the seasons, I think, without question. And you also just kind of have to adapt as is because stuff just changes around the home for what you need to tend to, which rooms end up getting dirtier faster. It's funny how it uh, just shifts with maybe the age of family or you know how much time you're spending inside. It just changes it all up. Oh, you can see a little peek there of my... Um, my flower uh, tree that I put together for photos. I, I love I love doing that. You biscuits know I did that last year. I put it in my living room, but this year I'm keeping it in the studio space to uh, to take photos with. And I think it actually turned out even better this year, which I love. I love when things improve year to year. <laughs> okay, I've got to get some of this laundry done. Um, hang stuff up, fold clothes, because the laundry just keeps on coming. Oh, yeah. So this is kind of one of my strategies, is um, piling up and folding laundry for where it goes together. So all the shirts that get hung up, they all go in one pile together, you know. Um, pants that need to get hung up will go underneath the shirts on their own uh, clip-on pant hangers so that they can just get stuffed into the closet in the right spot. All of my lounge pants or underwear or um, lounge shorts, I'll fold those up and stack them together because they all go in the same area in my closet. And that's just a way that I find kind of helps me keep organized when I am folding, going from, you know, laundry basket to my closet just so that I don't have to think about it as much. I think that's really valuable. Simple stuff, right? That makes our life just that much easier.
Okay, so I also do our towel. So I roll them up in that um, kind of spa roll, round roll that I like to do. And then I pile them all together as I'm folding them and just toss them into the towel rack. Easy peasy. I love it. I'll see you in the next video, Biscuits. I love y'all. Big giant internet hugs. I hope you're having a beautiful Sunday.